Are you confused when it comes to choosing which 100 megahertz oscilloscope to buy? Are the specs conflicting to you? Well here are some pointers that will help you make the best selection scope for your needs. First of all, how many signals do you need to measure at once? Two or four? Maybe you need eight or sixteen digital channels too for system debug for finding system problems. Do you know what maximum or minimum signal sizes you'd like to measure? For 100 MHz signals you'll need a sample rate of at least 500 mega samples per second but remember that a 100 MHz scope is really 3 dB down at 100 MHz. As for digital signals a 5 to 10 MHz square wave is about the fastest digital signal that a 100 meg scope will see. A 100 MHz scope has about a 3.5 nanosecond rise time. Do you need frequency domain display for spectrum analysis? Built-in memory size is another important factor. The more memory a scope has means you can expand the stored waveform to discover small or infrequent glitches, so the larger the memory the better. A spec that's confusing to some is the repetition or screen refresh rate. This is the time between the display of the signal after it's been digitally processed and the next signal capture. This blind interval can leave spaces where you may not see important or intermittent signals. The screen refresh rate needs to be as high as possible, so it's worth comparing this spec between scopes. And take a look at the LCD screen size and quality. Sizes vary greatly and some LCDs are still monochrome in older designs. Color helps in sorting out which trace is which, and the better resolution, the more information you can gather. Triggering capabilities help you see a steady waveform and there are many options to use, even triggering on a digital pattern if you have a mixed signal scope. Some scopes include serial protocol decoding, so you can decipher I2C or CAN bus messages. But beware, some manufacturers charge extra for these decoders. Benchtop scopes are quick to set up and adjust and they can store waveforms, give pass-fail outputs and be general test pieces that you really need. Most of them need to be line powered but some have a battery option so you can take them around with you. There is quite a variety to choose from. But if you're still confused, give us a call and we'll give you our best advice for the scope that suits your needs.